last one is waiting until the last minute. So we have Lisa Simpson, and that's her waiting till the last minute to do something, to do everything, then being shocked that she didn't have enough time. So I'm sure this has happened to every one of us is when we we say, okay, I, will, I woke up 30 minutes earlier and I will finish the second half of this presentation. I'm sure I'll have the time. I'm sure I'm, sure I'm going to wake up 30 minutes earlier. That's realistic. Um, so this kind of procrastination come hand in hand to the belief of, oh, I'm up, I perform better under pressure. Uh, which kind of can be true. You can perform better on the pr under pressure, but um, you ha it's uh, it's often coming from a poor understanding of, of how long a task we will really take. We fool ourselves to forget about the task. So uh, we put it off thinking that it's gonna take only 30 minutes the next day, and it's usually not the case. And on top of that, it's unhealthy to put ourselves constantly into under that level of, of stress. It's unnecessary and it's unhealthy. And also doing things last minute, even if you pull it off, even if you are able to uh, deliver whatever it is that you have to deliver, there's higher chances you will have mistakes in there. There's higher chances that is not a great quality. So yeah. Uh, so in my case, uh, it will look like doing this presentation. I'm putting off my calls and saying, okay, I'm, I'm going to do all my calls in an hour at, at, in the afternoon because that way I'll feel the pressure and I'll hurry up. So if you catch yourself procrastinating because of putting off to the last minute, uh, first, don't underestimate how long a project it's gonna take. It's better to break down the project in different tasks and assign, and assign a time for each one of those tasks. So that will give you a much more realistic idea of exactly how long it's gonna take you to finish something. Another technique that can work for some people is um, changing the time units. So for example, instead of thinking of, of uh, about a month, think of it as 10 business days. Or instead of thinking about it as two days, think of it as 48 hours. So this will make future events seem more immediate and more urgent. And again, uh, think about your future self, uh, be gentle with your future self. You uh, want to avoid the stress and anxiety of working last 